Well, my name is David Flatla. I'm a professor at the University of Dundee. Uh, my research centers on helping people who can't tell colors apart very well. So people who have color blindness, but also who have acquired color blindness. Uh, I think this is really interesting in that uh, we're finding more and more people actually have uh, difficulties telling colors apart. And they have trouble with day-to-day -day life telling things like how to buy fruit in the supermarket or when meat is cooked. But also everybody else who can tell colors just fine uh, has a lot of difficulties understanding what people with color blindness actually see. And so I explore both avenues of research and I think it's interesting. Um, well, well, in essence, uh, it's nice because it, uh, color blindness and not color blindness splits the population into two beautiful pieces. And my research looks to help people with color blindness, but also help everybody who doesn't have color blindness understand what color blindness is like. So it can matter as far as real world applications about what are the day to day difficulties that people with color blindness experience. So, so people with inherited color blindness have difficulty quite often buying fruit in a supermarket. And so I look to help them, but also help everybody else understand what that's like. But then also for older, older people, uh, as we get older, we lose the ability to discriminate between blues and yellows. And this has all sorts of implications for telling, say, prescription medication apart. And so we can start to kind of understand that problem and illustrate why this is an issue to, say, uh, drug companies and things like that. So. Well, I've, I've worked with, um, uh, where I did my PhD work was at the University of Saskatchewan in Canada. And so I have collaboration ties there, but also some recent work that I've done also involves uh, University of uh, Michigan as well as Harvard University. And uh, what we've done there is some, some potential applications for a market as well, besides these tools that, that help and help understand. It's looking at um, improving differentiability while keeping kind of the look and feel of a color scheme consistent. So we looked at websites and how to make websites kind of more accessible for people who can't tell colors apart, but at the same time keep their overall tone of warmth or cool or dark or, or light or something like that. We keep that as well.